I've been telling you I'm going to do this video for a while, so I guess I better deliver on my promise. So, uh, this is a typical adventure loadout. I'll normally go out with a hat um, to keep the sun out of my eyes, absorb some of the sweat. Uh, have a shirt like this, I guess it's like a fisherman's shirt, I call them an adventure shirt. Uh, normally, I'll, if I'm out on the trail, I'll have a few buttons undone. <laughs> Look at that. But uh, I'll be, I'll be a little modest today. Uh, my backpack here is... I don't know what this is. It's supposed to be some sort of camel back. I don't know where my bladder for it went. Uh, but I've showed you this before. I keep this knife on here. On, uh... On my, my chest. Very accessible. Even faster than... Uh, a pocket knife, and I do carry a pocket knife usually, whatever I'm feeling like that day. But this is very, uh, <laughs> very fast, very quick. Just, and you're ready to cut whatever you have to with this. I might want to hone this a little bit, it might not be as sharp. This is, of course, you've seen this knife before if you've watched my knife videos. This is, uh, some sort of Kershaw boot knife. I put it, uh, oh wow, that actually broke, oof. I should put some string through here, honestly, I don't need zip ties. But I'll put another zip tie through there probably, and have that, uh, hang in there. Yeah, I broke that zip tie, whoops. But, I keep this clipped on here, now, there's a little bit of a downside as you're walking. This thing does, it's, uh, it starts swinging. On my back I got this. I just cut my ceiling, whoops. Whoopsies. I've got my Barong machete I've showed you. This is uh, my current trail machete that I keep with me. And when you're outside, there's no ceiling to hit. I strapped this hook here, like this this retention strap that's supposed to go around the handle, I wrapped it around this strap here so that this doesn't come all the way out. It does come out a little bit, but when I'm out on the trail, this holds really nicely. You can see even the bottom pokes out of this hole where the camelback uh, tube is supposed to come out. So that's that works out pretty nice. And my previous go-to to put into my pack was the Gladius Machete, but I find the Barong Machete really performs well for me, so that's what I've been carrying with me. Let's... Let's get into the bag. We'll see what's in the bag. In this back compartment. So first back here I've got the GI Tanto. The retention strap on this is insane. Yeah, very, very tight retention on the, the GI Tonto. Um, this is a good knife. It feels good in your hand. Good for field stuff. It, this is a tough chunk of steel. There's videos of people using this to baton and friggin' throwing it at stuff. This thing is just, this thing is basically a crowbar with an edge. So this thing's basically indestructible. Anything you would need just a chunk of steel to do, this this will do for you. But I keep that in the bag as like a secondary thing for for actual on the on site. Uh, activities where this will do for any quick cutting I would have to do. I've got this lighter. Still lights pretty nicely. Two, you know, light fires and stuff. People will complain and say, that's gonna break. If you fall down a hill, that'll break. Yeah, whatever, dude. Now, I need to show you these one day. I need to make a video about these. This is my fire starters. And all this is really 
Uh, my mom has these wax melts that she uses to uh, make the house smell like cookies and, and apples and stuff. And then when she's done with it, she soaks it up in a towel and throws it away. So I would sneak and grab those and get it in some tissues. You throw a match on that and this will stay lit for two minutes. And you can throw your sticks on it and it'll light right up. So I keep a few of these in my pack in case I need to light a fire in this baggie. Uh, just to kind of waterproof them. And since they're coated in wax, they're kind of already waterproof. Now I do leave, you can see on that blue one there, I leave some of it exposed, some of the tissue exposed, so that lights up really quick. I'll make a video on these one day, show you how these work. We of course have our Mora Companion. Excellent, excellent knife for carving, uh, honestly, anything you would be doing out in the woods, this is excellent for. Man, I love the Mora Companion. This feels so good if you're making uh, fizzle, not fizzle sticks, what do they call that? Feather. If you're feathering feather sticks, making a fire, uh, if you have to do any carving, this thing is amazing. I love it. And I keep it in, keep it with me all the time in my bag. I threw one of these mylar blankets in. I've never found the need to use it, but you never know, you know, and it's not something that weighs a whole lot, it doesn't take up a lot of room in the pack. Now I mentioned before, this is easily the best $20 I ever spent in my life. This is Corona Razor Tooth Saw. Corona Razor Tooth Saw. Take a look at the teeth on that bad boy. Very sharp. This thing flies through trees. Something that's, you know, reasonable. Something that's half as wide as this is. Obviously not, not big trees. But a medium tree, like a medium small tree, this flies right through. This saw is so good, and this weighs so little. This flies right through wood. I spent 20 bucks for this at Lowe's, and I should have gotten another one. I think they're like 25 now. I should have gotten them back in the day when they were nice and inexpensive. But this thing is great. I love this. Folding saw. Excellent, excellent investment. And I find just spending 20 seconds with the folding saw will cut through something that would take five minutes with an axe. So I love the folding saw. I keep it in my pack at all times. Uh, I, and I really need to update this. Really, I got like a medical kit. It's really, it's just alcohol wipes, moist towelettes, and band-aids. Um, I've got a gauze strip in here. I really gotta update this. But this is, this whole pack is a peripheral to my EDC. And I have a med kit in my EDC as well. I have a little Carhartt fanny pack that I keep on me, like a satchel. And that's what I carry on me every day. Go check out that video. I'll leave that in the descript in, in the description. But yeah, just band-aids and alcohol wipes. You get a cut on the trail, wipe that up with some alcohol and throw a band-aid on it. And I've, I've I've done that a few times for myself, for some friends. It's always useful. Now, last I have some paracord. Um, to tell you the truth, I just have paracord because that's like what you're supposed to have. I don't, when I'm out hiking and on the trail, I don't usually find a lot of purpose for paracord and rope. I know it's one of the five C's of survival and Dave Canterbury would shoot me for saying that I don't ever use paracord and he uses paracord for everything. He, he made a... Um, a coffee mug out of paracord and then he used paracord to, to 
to make a helicopter to fly over a ravine or something. Yeah, paracord is the best thing in the world, but I don't have any rope tying skills. I tried to tie a bowline knot and it took me like two hours. I couldn't figure it out and I was embarrassed. Now, I, I want another one of these bags because this is kind of falling apart. This thing has seen a lot of adventure. The, the zippers are kind of getting sticky. The, it's kind of just deteriorating. I'll also point out in the bottom, there's just like a net down here. I don't really... Like there's a net in the bottom, I don't really know why. So this is uh, my hiking kit, my adventure kit. You might have seen on uh, Trailblazers, I, I was carrying this with me. Had, had this on me when I was out uh, on the trail hiking. I don't usually take this if I'm going to like a, a commercial, not commercial, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a more touristy hiking place where I know there's going to be a lot of people. And if so, I'll usually leave the machete out. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave the machete behind. Things I might add, uh, an Altoids fishing kit, perhaps. Perhaps I'll add a fishing kit to this. This isn't, this isn't a go bag, this isn't a, a bug out bag. Uh, it's not even necessarily a get home bag. This is my adventure pack that I, when I go out on an adventure, I say I'm gonna go hike this mountain, I'm gonna go and explore this cave, go to these, to these ruins on the outskirts of town. This is what I have with me. So, uh, really it's not, I'm not really gonna put any rations in here. Uh, <laughs> so maybe, you know, maybe I should put something like that in there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything really that would be shelf stable that I could leave in here for a year and it would be fine. Uh, but let me know. Let me know what, if, if you have an adventuring bag, if you have an adventure pack, tell me, uh, what kind of bag you have and, and what you put in it. I, I think I'd be interested to know. So like the video, leave a comment. E just leave the comment that, uh, just leave a period. I don't care. Just leave a, a comment that's a period. I want you to comment because I like you and when you comment. So that's my adventuring pack. I told you I'd show it to you and there it is. So yeah, subscribe, go check out uh, my other gear videos. We put up gear, we've been putting gear videos up every Monday for <laughs> like a month or two. Uh, check out some gaming videos on the channel if you're, if you're into that. I also do a writing uh, podcast that goes up weekly. Um, you can go check that out. That's every Saturday. So subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I'd, I'd like to see you back. You, you specifically, I'd like to see you back. So thanks. Thanks for watching the video and have a good day.